Good morning. Welcome to Browns. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Brown's Hotel is at the heart of Mayfair and has been for, you know, a few hundred years. And I have to say, it fits perfectly into that feeling of exclusivity and really opulence in Mayfair. My name is Stuart Johnson. Um, I'm actually the general manager of Brown's Hotel. Brown's is the oldest hotel. It opened in 1837. It was opened by a gentleman called Mr. Brown who was the butler for Lord Byron and his wife. Uh, they were given some money. They started off the hotel actually in Dover Street, um, where they acquired uh, a first house and then subsequently a few more and created Brown's Hotel. And so we are 11 townhouses um, that are connected into 117 bedrooms. And we are situated right in the heart of London, right in the heart of Mayfair, right in the heart of England, and therefore we emanate an English experience. The hotel boasts several bars and restaurants, including the beautifully realised Donovan Bar. Named after the famous photographer, guests can enjoy an array of stunning cocktails. There is also some rather risque artwork in this booth known as the Naughty Corner. Cheers. Cheers. Browns has welcomed many, many famous guests over the years. Um, Agatha Christie based Bertram's Hotel on Browns. Alexander Graham Bell made the first UK telephone call from Browns. Queen Victoria used to come for afternoon tea. Um, Rudyard Kipling wrote The Jungle Book, and we're actually sitting today in the Kipling suite that has just recently been remodelled. Like the rest of the hotel, the suite was designed and crafted to be quintessentially English, with artefacts placed as if they were in a patron's home. Kipling was a frequent visitor. Um, he stayed many, many times. Actually, in the entrance hall of the suite in which we sit, there is a letter to which he wrote from Browns. Um, so therefore provenance that he was a regular guest. We have a desk that is situated actually in the bedroom of this suite um, to which we believe he sat and quilled the Jungle Book. The Hicks Mayfair restaurant specialises in the finest British seasonal cuisine and is adorned by artwork especially commissioned for the space. Two large Tracy Emin neons hang in the restaurant and so from both fashion, the art world and literary world um, Browns uh, maintains its space in history. History was certainly made when Theodore Roosevelt decided to stay at Browns. Teddy Roosevelt was married from Browns, having stayed a week here um, and walked to um, St George's Hanover Square. 